The movie revolves around its protagonist, a young boy named Leonardo da Vinci, who is creative and curious and lives in a small village in Tuscany. He loves to invent and create things, much to the amusement of his friends. He helps his friend Lisa to recover her house after it was destroyed by a fire, and they set off in search of a fabulous treasure. The movie is set in the Renaissance, when a young aspiring inventor and artist named Leonardo shows his new invention, the hand-pedaled car that can sort of fly, to his friend Lorenzo, who too is every bit as up for an adventure. The pair drives through the forest to get their friend Lisa, However, while driving, the pair faces a dead end and falls down the cliff. Luckily, Leonardo has installed a flying system that allows them to fly to their destination. The pair after much hassle reach their destination while walking through a bridge Leonardo meets a master who is sketching an artist who is sketching beautiful scenery alongside fishing in the river. The pair then heads to find their friend Lisa the girl for who Leonardo later harbors a secret crush. Leonardo stops Lorenzo to stop calling Lisa as loud as his father could hear them, so instead they use a bizarre owl's verse. Lisa walks up to them, however, she is not happy to be called as she's busy preparing for the harvest festival. Lisa expresses her nervousness about the upcoming Harvest Festival, because she believes that the Marquis of Montescuro has a crush on her and hopes that he does not attend the festival. The trio rides Leonardo's hand-pedaled car and reaches a lake. Upon arriving, Lisa questions her decision of coming along and ponders that she should have stayed at home. Lorenzo helps Leonardo unload his equipment from Leonardo's hand-pedaled car. Leonardo reveals his new invention, a diving suit, shortly after unloading the equipment. The special diving suit allows Leonardo to explore the lake to find a dragon that everyone assumes to be living underwater. The suit appears to be made of metal and has a helmet that covers the head and a tube for breathing. After coming out of the water safe and sound Leonardo reveals a wooden stick that he assumes to be a dragon's tooth. Tragedy appears when coming back home Lisa realizes that her house and fields have been burned by a fire. Without the harvest from the fields, Lisa's father won't be able to pay the rent on the land and Lisa may have to marry the landowner's son as payment. Devastated by the loss Lisa vents her anger on Leonardo she blames Leonardo's bizarre inventions and indicates that she never wants to see him again. Master suggests Leonardo give an introductory letter to a well-known painter named Veraccio in Florence who might hire Leonardo and work for him and could help Leonardo earn some money which he can use to help Lisa. Leonardo suggests Lorenzo to keep their plans a secret from Lisa the duo decides to leave for Florence the following day in the early morning. However a blabbermouth Lorenzo unintentionally reveals their plan to Lisa. The same night Lorenzo who is walking alone through the dense forest overhears a pirate talking about Leonardo. An unknown guy orders the pirate captain to watch over Leonardo however Lorenzo gets discovered by one of the subordinates and is taken hostage. The following day Lisa walks to Leonardo who is waiting for Lorenzo and informs him that she will be coming along to help them. Furthermore, she informs him that Lorenzo has left a note on her doorstep. She tells him that Lorenzo has to go to a horse fair and will not be coming. Lisa and Leonardo walk through the town of Florence to find the workshop of painter Veraccio. While walking through the narrow alleys they meet an enigmatic man who informs the pair that painter Veraccio has traveled to Milan and suggests they go down to the marketplace to look for other painters who might be interested. The pair walks to the marketplace and discovers Storyteller. The man narrates a story about a ship with treasure hidden under the great Indian Ocean. After narrating the story, the man informs everyone that he has the original map. Moreover, the map is priced at only one florin. Leonardo, who is determined to buy the map, bargains for the map with half a florin and a painted portrait of Lisa. The man agrees to give the map for just half a florin but for some reason, the man knew Leonardo's name. After purchasing the map and looking through it, Leonardo is shocked to find that the story actually exists. Leonardo informs Lisa that Sayako once told him about a big ship returning from the Great Indian Ocean. Unfortunately, while returning, the ship sank into the sea. When Leonardo and Lisa are busy with their conversation, a little girl named Agnes steals the map from Leonardo and runs away. Leonardo runs after her. Meanwhile, a little boy named Niccolo gives Lisa a monocular that helps her look for Leonardo and the little girl. The little girl hands over the map on one condition Leonardo will take her to the treasure along with them. Leonardo agrees to recover his map and informs her that they will be going before sunset. Lisa introduces Niccolo to Leonardo and informs him that Niccolo studies the stars and he now a lot about them. The duo agrees to take Niccolo with them so that he can help them find the stars Sirius and Procyon. Before sunset, everyone gathers in Leonardo's hand-pedaled car that he has upgraded with attached wings. They fly through the sky and then sail through the sea. The following night, on the pirate ship, the pirate informs his subordinates about his plan of spying on Leonardo and his group at sunrise. Meanwhile, Leonardo and his group have camped in a nearby cave, and all of them are discussing the treasure. Niccolo, who loves astronomy, informs the others about the solar eclipse that will be occurring tomorrow. Back in the forest, Lorenzo, who was taken hostage, is tied and locked in the storage room, and with the help of mice, 
he successfully unties himself. He runs towards Master Chamwa and informs him about his kidnapping. Furthermore, he informs him about Leonardo being in danger. The next morning, Leonardo dives into the sea and saves a dolphin trapped under a net. He discovers an ancient necklace, which makes him realize that he is somewhat near the treasure. Leonardo wears his diving suit and dives into the water. As he walks into the water, he discovers the wrecked shop, but much to his dismay, he does not find any treasure. While examining the ship, he gets attacked by a group of sharks. Luckily, he saves himself by filling one of the sharks with air. Once he removes his tube from the shark's mouth, the shark deflates like a balloon. After coming out of the sea, Leonardo informs his group about not finding any treasure. Unfortunately, their conversation is overheard by the spies sent by the pirate. They inform their pirate about the new information they overheard. The pirate commands his subordinates to replicate Leonardo's diving suit and explore the wrecked ship. Back in the cave, Lisa feels dejected about her situation, and she started crying in Leonardo's arms. When the subordinates dive into the water, the dolphin chases them away and they are seen by Leonardo and Lisa. After discovering the subordinates, Leonardo suggests following them after discovering their private ship. Leonardo and Lisa sneak into the pirate's room, where they discover that the pirate and his subordinates have been following them and have been giving information regarding their whereabouts. After successfully escaping the pirate, Lisa confesses her feelings for Leonardo. The next morning, Leonardo dreams of seeing two helms in the sea. As soon as he wakes up, he informs Lisa and the others about discovering two helms when he dived into the water, which made him realize that there were two ships under the water. The pirate discovers Niccolo and Agnes, and they capture the duel. Meanwhile, Lisa and Leonardo discover another ship behind a waterfall on Monte Cristo Island. Once inside the ship, Lisa discovers the treasure. After taking out the treasure, they walk towards the shore, where they are attacked and discovered by the pirate and his subordinates. The pirate and his subordinates steal the treasure box. Leonardo and Lisa run after the pirate's ship. Meanwhile on the ship, the pirate forces Niccolo and Agnes to jump into the sea, right where sharks are swimming. Luckily, they are saved by Leonardo and Lisa, who have sneaked into the ship. To save Niccolo and Agnes, Leonardo rebels against the pirate for the secret to unseal the treasure box. He tells the pirate that the treasure box can only be unsealed through the dolphin's sound, and so the pirate takes Leonardo to the ship's decks. Leonardo throws some fish to attract dolphins, and once the dolphin starts making sounds, the treasure box unseals. Lisa is captured by the subordinates. Meanwhile, Leonardo dives into the water and jumps back into a hand-pedaled car. Moreover, he also recovers the treasure box. Leonardo runs away with the treasure box. Meanwhile, the pirate follows him. They destroy his car using cannonballs, but luckily, Leonardo survives. Leonardo flies through the sky using the wings he installed on his hand-pedaled car. When one of the subordinates fires a cannonball toward a flying Leonardo, it falls back into the ship. When the pirate and his subordinates are busy with the hole caused by the cannon, Leonardo successfully rescues Niccolo, Lisa, and Agnes. Leonardo and the others fall into Master Chamois' ship who have come alongside Lorenzo to rescue Leonardo and his group. Unfortunately all five are captured again moreover Master Chamwa reveals to be the mastermind behind everything unfortunate incident. He reveals to be following Leonardo's every move, and in fact he was the one who burned Lisa's field and house. The movie ends with all five defeating and throwing Master Chamwa alongside his subordinates into the sea. Overall the entire movie is a fun and exciting adventure movie. It celebrates the ingenuity and creativity of one of history's greatest minds and friendships.